it's pretty crazy how this place makes you feel like you're in the middle of the forest even though you're just a few minutes away from downtown Atlanta. Good morning everybody, we made it to Sweetwater Creek State Park. I'm planning to hike about seven or eight miles here in this park and you know I've never been here before but I've heard some really cool things about it so let's just go ahead and check it out. So just a little bit of information about this trail, it's right outside downtown Atlanta and it has a bunch of hiking trails and picnic areas. You do have to pay five dollars to get in so just be prepared for that. So originally my plan was to go to Cloudland Canyon State Park in Northwest Georgia this weekend. Unfortunately it is going to be thunderstorming there today and tomorrow so that's not going to work out. But I promise once the weather clears out I will make a future video on that. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on it when it comes out. I make adventure videos like this one pretty regularly as well as other videos about climate change so I know you don't want to miss out on them. Check out these ruins! So apparently there was a scene from the Hunger Games that was filmed here. Do you know what scene that is? Comment down below if you do. Isn't this place amazing? If you ever visit Atlanta, please check this place out. It is awesome. You know, I must say one of my favorite parts about hiking is the people. I feel like almost anyone that you run into on these trails is just really, really friendly, which is amazing. And I think it's because when you go out in nature, you learn to appreciate nature and you learn to value nature. And in turn, you become compassionate towards other people too, which is awesome. That's why as an environmentalist, I think one of the best things that you can do to put your values back into nature is to spend time in nature. Whether it be hiking, camping, kayaking, rock climbing, whatever. What are some of your favorite outdoor activities? Please comment down below and let me know. Do you guys hear the crickets out here? It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I can still hear them. So 
something weird that's been going on with me and my family lately is that they're not okay with me hiking by myself all the time. Specifically when I go backpacking overnight. And the thing is I love backpacking. It allows me to go to so many new places that I've never seen before. And I've always felt like if I kept waiting and waiting for someone to go with me then I would never go. But for my parents and my older sister, they always believe that hiking solo is completely reckless because there's always so many things that can go wrong. And personally, I've always felt like if you go unprepared, then it definitely can be dangerous. But at the same time, I feel like if you do your research, it can very much be done safely. And I think pretty much anyone else who goes hiking as much as I do will probably agree with me. But people who spend more time inside in their homes will probably agree with my parents. And you know, even though I carry a GPS messenger, which almost always has signal, I can message them pretty much whenever I want to and I can let them know that I'm doing fine. And interestingly, that's not enough to make them feel safe about me. But I think the reality is when you decide to pursue your passions, you often do have to step outside of your comfort zone like I am right now. And I think the reality is when we spend so much time in our house under our roof, it's really easy to feel like that's the norm of how we should be living versus being out here and going like super minimalist. What are your thoughts on solo hiking versus group hiking? Please comment down below and let me know. What I essentially did was hike the red trail and then hike the white trail back. And it's about a five mile loop total. So the first half was near the river and the creek where you saw all of those streams. And then the second half is essentially walking through this forest back to the visitor center. So you won't see as much water on the second half, but it's still really nice out here. And it's a really good challenge too, especially for your legs. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little adventure I went on through Sweetwater Creek State Park. Again, it's about 10 minutes west of downtown Atlanta, so it's not too far away and it's amazing. There's a lot of great creeks here. There's a lot of great trails here and it's a great time. So again, I do plan on going to Cloudland Canyon State Park in Northwest Georgia sometime in the near future. So make sure you subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on that video when it comes out. And also, please do me a favor and give this video a like as well. It really helps me out. And also, comment down below where you want me to go next. And who knows, I might just take you up on that suggestion. Alright, have a great day, y'all.